Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I have a question about this dynamic with my wife. She actually introduced me to self-help and improvement strategies several years ago, and it rubbed off on me. She's been someone that has worked on herself in the past and has tried many things. I'm seeing now that she keeps c consistency with a strong mindset and, and she goes through moods. Where I have seen an upward trajectory for myself, I see her struggling. In the past few years, our relationship has gone from an egalitarian structure to a very traditional one, though I've always been more dominant but lack leadership skills, mostly initiated by her. But we both feel good about this direction. Now she looks to me for that masculine energy and leadership. She wants to submit. She wants me to lead. I want that too. I guess my question is, how do I manage her fluctuations in mood and inconsistency with the self-improvement? What's the best way to understand this so I'm not distracted by her emotional experiences and don't get derailed? Should I expect her to work on herself like how I expect, uh, I'm expected to work on myself? Overall, things are going really good and she values how I've improved. Uh, it's one thing though that I want to manage. Hope that makes sense. It does. I understand, dude. Cool. So it sounds like you're, you're, it's interesting to see when people are in relationships and how the dynamics change over time. It really does. The dynamic between my wife and I has, have, have changed so many different times through our life. And it seems like you've experienced that sort of a, a shift of polarity in relationship also, where at some point it sounds like she was, she was very masculine. She was very ambitious. She was into the self-development and she, in a way, gave it to you, right? She injected you. She inserted that into you and woke you up. And then you became, you started to evolve in that way through personal development. But, and so the dynamic in that way, you know, like I said, I try to show it visually, she was more masculine, you were more feminine. In her demeanor, but even in her way of being with you, you received her. She, get, at least in this, in this, circumstance it may not always be this you know but in this circumstance with this stuff she gave it to you you received it it doesn't make you a less of a man or make her a bad woman is you got to understand sexual polarity this is it you know it's just it's basic shit so you received from her she was the masculine in that way but a funny thing happened but where when she gave that to you you started to grow something think about even sex she gave it to you and then you became pregnant with it and it started to grow in you. But at the same time, she lost it. She gave it. Boom. And she let it go and she dropped that seed and you carried it. And it's a beautiful thing because it's I think it's exactly what she wanted now that I'm saying it, because now she can relax. She let go. She had that angst. Bah, she let it go, right? Just almost like when a, a guy has a boner, right? He's just like, he's got the, she let it go. And then she settled. It sounded like she just, you took off and then you started becoming yang, masculine through the things that she taught you. And then she just was able to settle into her femininity, which is a yin, which is an allowing, which is a softer way of being, not the hard way like a man. I almost think, this just comes to my mind right now as I'm saying this, I almost think she knew what kind of man she wanted and she learned it through the self-development stuff and then she, in a way, trained you to be the kind of man that she wants. It's not a negative thing. She recognized that this masculine way through the personal development stuff is, you know, she was being masculine, putting herself in the masculine role with it, but really what she wanted was a man that could be that. And she did it. She took it and she gave it to you. And then the, 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 the dynamic changed. You went from yin to yang and she went from yang to yin. And so it's yin to be inconsistent. It's, and it's, it's a feminine nature to be inconsistent, right? It's just, you know, that's a neg not a negative thing, but the woman is more associated with, and the female and, and, the, and the, the, the feminine is more associated with flowing, just kind of going with the flow, more watery or even airy. 
They're just, they can be blown around like the emotions, right? And so it's, it's, it's inherent in a woman's nature to be sort of that way, where it's more of a man's nature to be consistent, to be straight up, right? It's in our nature, it's in our body, it's in our way. And, but she, I think where she's struggling is in the acceptance. And I think maybe you need, you can help her too, if you can see it the way I'm trying to explain it to you. In the full acceptance of her yin, she's, what's happening is the divine feminine is rising in her, but there's a battle because who she was before was helpful. She got her, got her you, right? That kind of, that ego was helpful for her. That type of ego was good for her. But now she's going through an ego death and rebirth. And that's a that's a hard thing. That's a that's a fight. Because the ego doesn't want to die. Because the ego is 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 built off of the wins that it got being the way it was. But those wins will she can't stay that way because the wins are going to be diminishing returns now. And the, her her old masculine ego is dissolving. It's breaking it's fighting right while she can rest so that she can ultimately rest in her new ego, her new, the new version of herself, which is like you say, she is being a woman. She's yielding, right? She wants to submit. She wants you to lead, right? She wants that. She really, really does. But she's struggling with herself and you can make it easier on her by not expecting her to self-improve. Self-improvement is a, is a mind fuck anyway, but it's more appropriate for men. It's more of a masculine mindfuck. Your wife, my wife doesn't self-improve. <laughs> She's not interested. I have so many, I used to have so many self-improvement books. I don't have too many anymore. But all I read was self-improvement. She had, she wanted nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. Doesn't mean that she doesn't improve herself. She does. She exercises. She learns what she needs to learn in order to get along with the things that are expected of us in our life. But she's not like trying to be the strongest version of herself. <laughs> All right, that's a that's a that's a man's that's what guys do. She looks at me and she's like, "All right, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna be me." She kind. My wife is relaxed. She's just relaxed, relaxing being a woman, relaxing her feminine. The thing is, she has a feminine purpose, and I think that's what you know. I don't know your situation. It sounds like this is your wife, right? You said she's your wife, but sh women find their feminine purpose in family. Women find their, their sense of self through relationships and that is most potent in, the, in, the, in, the, in family, right? I'm trying to see, yeah, she's your wife. So are you gonna have children, right? And if you're here and you wanna you know, answer that for me, that would be helpful, but if she gets pregnant, she won't be, so, she won't be fighting with herself so much because now she has a feminine vision Wow, a baby. Okay, yeah, you do. You have a child. Well, you, and your child is nine. <laughs> so the child is needing less and less of her, right? Ultimately, will need always need, but need a little bit less, need a little bit less, and that's that. That's shaking. That shakes shakes a woman a little bit. Um, I'm not telling you what to do, but maybe make more. She wants to focus on homeschooling and less on work. And so, bro. That's great. That's awesome. Check out uh, check out Charlotte Mason homeschooling. We've been really digging Charlotte Mason. There's a, there's a YouTube channel called Simply Charlotte Mason. And so she could focus on studying all the Charlotte Mason material, you know, if that's what you decide to do, and focus less on work, focus more on, on, on your child, your, your nine-year-old. Um, why not make more kids, right? I mean, how what a beautiful feminine vision to have a baby and to have to be teaching and to be with her great, strong, powerful leader of a man. She's just experiencing a new life. That's what it is. She's experiencing a new life. Um, continue to continue to support that new life for her. She doesn't need to read Jim Rohn anymore and Brian Tracy and, uh, you know, Grant Cardone, right? He's a new one, like new guy. She doesn't need to do that. She doesn't need to do that anymore. She could study homeschooling. She could learn how to take care of your of your child. What what could be more important than the homeschooling, right? So 
I think she's in a she's in a great place. It's just a place of transition. Sounds like you're in a great place, man. I'm I'm happy for you. I'm happy things are unfolding for for you and for you both. Let her be a little easier on herself, and and but the two of you together begin to see her feminine vision, and and support her in that feminine vision, which is babies, homeschooling, cooking, being becoming a grandma, right? Because what else is there? What else is there? She's gonna go. We'll go out there and battle in the corporate world, right? No. Make make families make families great again. That's what I'm about. So hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.